So from I hurt my knee because the clutch is so stiff to I can spend the whole day in traffic. So it's a very significant uh, significant improvement. Hello, hello, mic test, mic test, is this thing on? Is this thing on? Alright guys, and welcome to today's impromptu episode. Now, I'm not gonna make it long because I too myself don't have the time to make this video. But the thing is, uh, I had this problem with the car and I've tried googling it and everything and I couldn't find the answer online and I had to figure it out myself. So I just want to document it for people who might actually be experiencing the same problems. So I'm recording this not like as a vlog for the views but more of like a record to add to the plethora of E36 videos out there. So this isn't like a cinematic, funny, whatever vlog. This is, this is actually a DIY uh, technical vlog, uh, you know, to help out our other E36 bros out there. So yeah, I hope you guys find this video useful. So yes, as the title suggests, uh, it is regarding uh, the clutch weight. Rather, I had a stiff pedal and I didn't know why. Uh, so background, uh, we got this car, uh, the green one, uh, 3 to 8 IS, and uh, uh, the clutch is sliding. Now, that was okay for us since our main goal was actually to transfer the things that we've already done with a silver car. This was my original car over here. So the silver car already has an uh, uprated flywheel, well, uprated, I mean a lightened flywheel, uh, the UUC aluminum flywheel. And that's mated to an organic uprated clutch from the M5 E34. So perfect. Sliding clutch, we'll just need to transfer the clutch from the sedan to this one. Well, since we were there, we already changed the clutch master and the clutch slave. And we, we put the same flywheel, uh, pressure plate, clutch disc, release bearing, fork pivot, the brass fork pivot thing. Uh, we even transferred over the steel braided clutch line that was in the sedan. Uh, when I stepped on the clutch, it was stiff, like my god. There was this one time I was forced to drive the sedan for literally four hours in traffic and uh, I managed. It's not the lightest thing in the world because again, it's an M5 clutch, but uh, I managed. But on the way home with this one, uh, literally my knee, well, didn't really give out, but there was actually like pain on my kneecap. And I was wondering, why, why, why was that? We literally transferred everything. So one of the things that we thought that might have uh, been the factor is maybe the clutch pedal was different. Because uh, fun fact, the sedan is actually originally a manual 6-cylinder and this one was originally an automatic 3 to 8. So I was thinking, what if the 4-cylinder clutch pedal had a different design and they used the 4-cylinder clutch pedal for the conversion of this car? So I yanked the clutch pedal from the silver car and uh, to my not really surprise uh, it was the exact same clutch it, it's it even has the same exact like part number stamp and also the part numbers for the clutch master and the slave are the same for the four cylinders and the six cylinders so th that's not it also there was one part actually missing from the clutch assembly uh, of uh, the coupe and I actually didn't expect that part to be the the cause of the of the stiff clutch pedal or rather not the cause its absence actually made the clutch pedal much stiffer so come on i'll show you guys exactly what the hell i'm talking about all right so i've already removed uh, the under cover thingy and the part in question we have today is actually this you see guys you guys see the spring i'll zoom in wow it zooms so slow come on camera <laughs> that spring Apparently, that spring actually helps you push the clutch down. Now, this is again one of those parts that surprised me coming from uh, Japanese cars. Because look at this, okay? So right now, uh, with the pedal fully out, the spring is in a position where it actually pushes the pedal back outright. But then as you push in over here, as it sort of tips over there's, there's like a tipping point for the spring and it actually starts pushing the pedal like here right in this position it's actually helping you push the pedal to the floor now so as you go up and then it, it, it pivots again and it pushes the pedal back out and that's crazy that's crazy like it's actually significant like i'm able to drive this car quite 
consistently now again thanks to that spring now note maybe if you have a stock clutch maybe you want to remove this to actually add more feel to the clutch engagement but again i have a racing clutch already well quote unquote racing clutch so this added assist is actually very welcome for my daily drive now for some bonus content uh, for this video because i'm curious myself uh, so now I'm going to remove the spring and I'm going to put washers uh, to space the spring or rather to preload the spring. Will my clutch pedal actually become even softer? Alright, some technicality time just in case uh, you guys want to do this and you want to know what size washer you need. Alright, so this is our clutch spring mechanism over here. It goes like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to put some washers in between here to make this the spring well it won't it won't make the spring stiffer but the preload will make it seem like uh the, the spring is stronger i was actually planning to put the washer down here to make it easier for me to install but if you can see here the washer won't go all the way down and of course i don't want to compromise this because it might snap or whatnot right so if you want to put a washer at the bottom, you'll need a washer that has a hole that is 18 mm over there. And if you want to go to the top over here, so you can see there's a gap there, like it doesn't really fit. So there's going to be like a, like a groove there. So if you want a washer that uh, sits flush on the upper part of the mechanism, you'll need a washer that has an internal hole of... Oh, same! 18 millimeters. <laughs> there you go. So, ideally, you'd want a washer with an inner hole of 18. This is only actually 15, so whatever. So here she is. Go down into our pedals here the washer there on top so it doesn't apparently hit anything so that's good all right so there it is and if i step on it there doesn't hit anything good yeah and if it's not obvious by the tone of my voice right now other than i'm tired i'm actually not disappointed because the experiment is actually a success the pedal is stiffer over here because again it's pushing the pedal back towards me but once I go over that uh, the tipping point the clutch pedal just falls right down 10 out of 10 I'll do it to other E36s all right one more side note I think you guys need to know uh, before you do this uh, the clutch uh, spring isn't actually centered on the pedal so the the quote-unquote operated spring is actually pushing at some sort of an angle so if your bushings uh, your pedal bushings back all right so going back with just uh the the spring preload mod alone there has been a significant significant a reduction in, uh, in pedal effort so I tried it on uh, without the the preload shim and the clutch did feel lighter but now with the preload shim it's it's even more light so from I hurt my knee because the clutch is so stiff to I can spend the whole day in traffic so it's a very significant uh, significant improvement so in summary, uh, what we did was uh, we installed the spring, huge clutch improvement. Then we did it one step further. We installed one uh, preload shim, aka a regular ass washer you can buy in a hardware store. And that stepped it up a bit further. Now I sort of want to maybe add one more shim, but uh, since the whole mechanism is like plastic, uh, I don't know if it'll be able to hold that much preload. So I'll, I'll, I'll take what I can, I'll take what I can. I'd rather enjoy while we're still ahead and we haven't broken anything. Then uh, because of the added preload on the spring, the pedal now has a lot of like, uh, well, preloaded uh, force on it. 
uh, we upgraded our uh, pedal bushing to the garahi stick brass bushing then i noticed that the clutch master wasn't aligned so we aligned it with again some washers so moral of the story is washers <laughs> washers are great so it's a worthwhile mod uh, i'm not sure if you want to do it uh, on your stock clutch because yeah it might take away some feel uh, but then if you live in the Philippines where traffic is literally like a way of life uh, that spring is one way for you to still enjoy your car uh, even in really bad conditions so yes that's it for today's video I hope I helped you guys out with something you learned something new uh, and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're bored and have nothing else better to do you can go watch our other videos this is Albert from Drive Therapy. Tune in for more E36 stuff. And I will see you guys in the next Bajo. Kachinga.